And then um, also I had a, a fascinating night on Saturday night. Um, this was a, a public meeting on the destruction of what's called the World Trade Center Tower Number 7. So I, I didn't even know there was a number seven there. When they, I went around the World Trade Center uh, soon after it opened in New York, when I was living in New York in 1970, and uh, I saw, obviously, the two towers. But across the road, well, there's a whole series of buildings mm -hmm. on that campus, and the, across the road there's uh, building number seven, mm -hmm. and they had in Australia, he's now left, Niels Harrit, uh, who is um, a professor from... Um, Denmark, I think, Denmark, and he um, uh, has been in Australia for a co scientific conference and, and on Hayman Island, and he was exiting through Sydney and said, that, and he, he was talking on a completely separate subject, but said he'd be happy to give a talk on his research, which is now uh -huh. on a very well-known article, which is available free of charge on the internet, um, looking at the destruction for the World Trade Center Tower Number 7. It's a, build, it's a squat building at the back of it. Mm. And that went down hours after, seven hours after, the two towers went down. Um, Although it only had minor fire damage. I think. Only minor mm. fire damage. And it, it collapsed within its own footprint. And it looked like an implosion. Um, and so... Um, the uh, evening was given over to this. I, uh, I commend the organisers. They kept emphasising that it was a scientific gathering, although it was open to the general public, but they were treated in a scientific way. They were looking simply at um, if the scientific aspects, how the building came down, not why or who. There were questions from the floor, naturally, uh, sort of saying, well, who would have been behind this? And uh, the scientists they had there, Niels Harrett was the main presenter, but they had a guy from WA who was an engineer, whole, and a number of others. The group of people there, and they kept saying, no, 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 it's our job simply to identify the process by which the building came down. It's for others to carry out the investigation about who would have done it and how they would have got their fair, hands fair on enough. the explosive. Mm. Very good. So um, they're very disappointed that they couldn't get more media interest in this visit only for a few hours uh, between changing planes, heading back to Europe of this Niels Harrod, but a fascinating evening indeed on the destruction oh. of World Trade Centre Tower number seven. Did that get a mention in the commission nope. inquiry? No, nope. no mention in the report. So <laughs> it's... <laughs> oh, on the same day, another building came down. <laughs> Nothing to do with us. We, right. we weren't asked about that one. <laughs> Fascinating stuff. Yeah.